everybody. Kevin is going to be doing a lot of work in the kitchen today trying to get the electricity fixed and Sarah and the kids are going to be taking off early because they got some stuff they have to do. And as you can tell, I am in bed again. My feet are feeling better, but if it's not one thing with me, it's another. One of my other illnesses that I have is called gastroparesis. And without going into a lot of detail about what that is, is basically my stomach does not digest the food properly. It happens if I eat too much or with certain foods that I'm not really supposed to eat. And we really don't know what foods that it that is yet. The doctors can't really tell me everything. So anyway, it's extremely painful and I have special medicine for it and whatnot and that medicine knocks me out so as soon as Sarah and the kids leave and Kevin gets ready to take off to go to Home Depot I'm going to take my medicine so I'll probably be, I'll probably be asleep most of the day um, but I'll catch you guys later for shout outs alright so I'm off to Home Depot to do a last ditch effort, get some supplies to try to fix that wall before I uh, officially call it over for me. I've said that before, I know. So let's see how that all works out. All right. So here I am. Coming up to Home Depot. Today I'm gonna to try and see if I can get the camera inside, videotape a little bit. I'll do that until, in less or until, or uh, if someone decides to stop me. Okay, it's kind of an odd day here. It's, it's nice and sunny, however, uh, it's rather overcast. So it's humid, which is not normal for July in uh, California. So one of the things I really need right now is a, a decent hose. So we're on the search for a hose. So if you remember from our nice little pie incident, uh, the, the hose in the backyard was uh, leaking. I haven't had a chance to do anything about that yet, so I'm gonna try and replace that. I don't need a hundred foot long, uh, long hose, but I do need a, a real hose, not one of those snaky things. Or, because I do have a tendency to need it to clean out my um, sink every now and then. So, 50 feet is probably what I would like to have, and I have a couple of things I noticed. Uh, this nice green one is probably what I want for $17. Um, I was looking for a second hose probably for the front, and I was thinking it probably didn't have to be a medium or heavy duty. But it looks like these light duties have a tendency to come back. They've been re-rolled. So, I don't know. I really, really like this for the front yard. It's, it's a... Uh, to, to wrap the hose around and it sits above whatever bush that we have there and it's attractive. I'm just wondering. I'll videotape it and show it to Val see what she thinks. Alright, there's the hose we really need to keep the girls from breaking it in the backyard. And get a couple of those. Alright, so I actually have a couple of these already but uh, they're not exactly the best and I think I should probably pick up a decent set of test tools because I'm still not quite sure what I'm into in the wall so I think I'll pick this up even though I really shouldn't be paying that kind of money for tools but you know me I love me tools it won't stop me so this is my plan is to replace all the sockets in that wall just get brand new ones some of them I replace some of them I haven't I rewired them all but it doesn't seem to be working um, so there's gonna that's one it's not gonna cost too much so that's one option I'm also going to try and replace some of the older wiring 
uh, in the wall just in case that that could be some of the problem none of that works it's time to make a phone call all right so I'm done at the Home Depot so I'm gonna head off to the grocery store got to do the grocery shopping and that should be the end of this then I have to tackle that wall see how Val's doing All right, so here's the rundown of my electrical dilemma. All right, this is where my power comes in. I've already checked that. What it does, it comes in from the, uh, the breaker box into this uh, uh, outlet, and then that outlet goes over to here. It used to be wired all the way across, but I spliced in a um, another outlet for the stove so now it goes from there down the wall to that outlet back up to the wall to this junction box over to this junction box which I had covered and I had to move it over so that it's centered over my countertop so I have that wired in this was covered over, but I, I uh, pulled it apart to make sure my wiring is correct. Then it goes from there up into the drop ceiling and comes down to this uh, outlet that runs the microwave. Okay, now I have completely rewired this. And it tells me my wiring is correct. All right, I put this on all of the outlets and it's all seems to be correct. It is wired correct. All the outlets are wired correctly. Now, so I get out my voltmeter. And it top, it's topping out at about 103. Should be 118, 120. Now, I noticed that earlier today, so I had completely removed the entire run of wires and just put the plug in where it was um, just coming straight from the box and it was still just running around 103. Should, if my other outlets on the other lines run around 118 to 120. So, so riddle me this, those of you who know anything about electricity, why is this line not functioning right? Is there something in the wall? Because as far as I can tell, I have done everything correct. As far as I can tell. Um, and it's still not working. There's power coming through, as you can see. But it won't run anything. It won't run anything except the little lights on, on these devices. Uh, I'm stumped. So here's the only other thing that, that I could think of that's changed. There's only one thing that's changed since I've wired the wall. Um, I, I replaced the fuse, which shouldn't be a problem. It didn't seem to make any difference one way or the other. But I do have solar power now. And I it never considered, I, I'm not considering the solar power because why would it only affect one circuit? Why would it only affect just that one circuit and uh, I wouldn't even know why that would affect it at all don't know
All right. So what I'm going to do is I've uh, just reattached our, our stove so it can be used. Uh, I have an extension cord that's just going to... I'll try to get that out of the way so my wife doesn't step on it with her bad feet. And um, until I uh, get an electrician in here or get someone from out there who has some ideas that I can try. This is uh, basically how my kitchen's going to look for a little while. I don't give up. It's driving me nuts. It is making me mad. There should not be anything wrong with this circuit. It should be fine. And uh, it's not. Look at my lovely husband after working so hard all day on the wall and the electricity and he even did his laundry for work and everything. And then stopped to pick up Megan who... Stopped to pick up Megan whose car broke down and went to the grocery store because you went to the grocery store today, right? I did? Yeah. So, and Home Depot. And Home Depot. He's making me a sandwich and Thank some you. soup. That's a sandwich. Well, you're you only going to have half? Yeah. Oh. I only need half. You want half, I want half. Oh, you're going to have some soup with me? Yeah, well, I won't have this soup. I'll have my soup. Oh, okay. So, he's making us a, ha a sandwich that we're going to share. And then he's making me soup, and he's going to make himself soup, too. Hey, everybody, it's time for a shout-out. Sorry, I've been in bed all day, and I have a headache, too, so. I gave it to her. I heard, I heard she was really loud yesterday. <laughs> yeah, Jessica... Jessica, and, well, actually two people commented. Dana B. Saw, sorry about he your headphones, laugh out loud. I do tend to get a little loud sometimes, just a little bit. And Jessica Coleman Thomas, Kevin really doesn't cuss much, so it is really kind of funny when he does. And, yeah, I am from New York, and New Yorkers have the reputation of being loud. So, yeah, when I get loud, most of the time my accent comes out. Just a little bit. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I don't know. Stop laughing at me. Okay. And Melanie 3 loves scary movies. Well, most of you are, all of you probably already know that, at least... 80% of our movie collection is horror flips. Halloween is our favorite time of year. We love, love, love scary movies. So I have a question for everybody out there. What is your favorite scary movie and what movie scared you the most? Leave those in our comments below. I'm kind of interested. And <clears throat> Lucy Bones challenged us to to, uh, to try her accent since she's British, and uh, I don't think either one of us are uh, very good at accents. But her, Megan's her, fantastic but, at them. But her husband Bones has a, a pretty good accent. So uh, why don't you uh, take it away, Bones? Hello, this is Phineas J. Bones, giving a special shout out to my wife, Lucy Bones. Back to you, Val and Kevin. And it's time for, do you want to do it, and, and do, do it the way that's going to make Katie happy. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shout Out! Yay! Katie? I kind of feel like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Here, you start because I started last yesterday. No, you did. You didn't. You start today. Jack Adams. Katie Caroline. Megan Goth. 
Karen Fry. McKenna's World. Lucy Bones. Madison Collier. Daniel Scott. Christopher Trade Show. Clay Bad with Usernames. Selena G Love 47, also known as Brian. Very good. Tom Show. Madeline Carl. Rex25059. ZZ Epic Dude ZZ. Dana Besaw. Beauty Queen 12. Marin Brenda Smith. Yay! You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it wasn't for you guys. We love you all. Thank you. Thumbs up, and we will see you all tomorrow.